We're super happy to have all of you guys here today. Um, so what we will be doing today is actually dissecting a squid. So we're going to do this step by step. Do not poke or move anything that we don't tell you to or else you're going to ruin the dissection, okay? Right. So what do you guys notice? Is there some shorter and some longer? Mm. Yeah. Here? Right? Um, yeah. So these are all shorter. And then how many are longer? Um, two. Two are longer. And what's the difference on these ones that are longer? Because they only suction cups at the end. Right. And check out these suction cups, guys. Yeah. They have little rows of teeth all the way around them. Oh, this is cool as well. Yeah, trying to find somebody there. Oh, that's the bar. Ten, right? I'm taking them. This is the bar. Look at its eyes. Okay, I'm filling it. What are these tiny little dots? That's um, I don't know. Chromo, what are chromatophores. Those are the chromatophores. Are the chromatophores, right? And what do the chromatophores do? They change its color. They like yeah. camouflage it. Yeah, they change its color. You guys did a great job with the arms and the tentacles and the eyes. What were these? The fin. Right, that are going to change the pitch of the squid. Yeah. Um, one thing I want you guys to notice, is it darker or lighter on this side? It's, it's, it's darker, darker on this side. and, and like It's lighter. pretty dark, right? Yeah. Do you guys know the difference between dorsal and ventral? Um, where is a dorsal fin on like a shark? On the top. Yeah, yeah on the back. Oh, yeah. So this is its dorsal side, okay? So we're going to flip oh. it around and we're going to look at its ventral side. Oh. Is it darker or lighter? Lighter. Lighter. Okay. So sunlight is coming from the top of the ocean, right? So if I'm something down low and I'm looking up, what am I seeing? A shadow. Sunlight, right? Sunlight, yeah. Okay, so we would want to be lighter, so we blend in with the sun, right? Yeah. So say I'm a predator looking from top, and I'm looking down onto the ocean floor. Is the ocean floor darker or brighter than the sun? It's so darker. Darker, right? So why would I want my dorsal side to be darker? Predators wouldn't see me. I would blend in, right? I'm going to show you guys, and then you're going to do it. Is We are going to take out the beak. So, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh. See, you guys, see right here? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. It's this hard That's structure, hard. and it kind of looks like a parrot beak almost. You see how there's a bunch of flesh around here? Yeah. That is your buccal mass. Have a look over here, please. So, we have our beak, oh. and then we have this long tube attached to the beak. So, the beak is like the mouth. What would this long tube is it like this? Is it like this? Oh. Oh. Do not poke it. Don't Label it right now. Yeah. Okay, there's just a few things that I wanted to point out. You guys have done a really good job labeling things. So I know Astrid was showing you guys the siphon, right? What is the siphon for? Sucking in air. Escaping and catching up. Right, so the siphon is used for jet propulsion. What's gonna happen is there's gonna, a bunch of water is gonna come into this mantle, okay? And the mantle is really muscular, right? So it will squeeze and contract and shoot water out of the siphon. Poof! Okay, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So, one thing that we saw that the octopus and the squid both did was ink, right? So the ink also comes out of the siphon, right? And right here we can see, here's the ink sac, right? So the ink sac is right located at the end of the siphon and the ink will come out of the siphon as well. How many gills do they have? Two. 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 So at the end of each gill, there's a heart. What happens with the bronchial hearts, guys, is what happens at what happens at our lungs? Air. Air. We get oxygen, right? And we want oxygen in our blood, yeah? Yeah. So oxygen-rich blood comes here to the bronchial hearts and then gets pumped into the systemic heart and goes to the rest of the squid's body. Now what we're going to do is find the pen. And what was the pen? 
Yeah. Internal shell. Yeah, so it's what's left of this cephalopod shell. It's the going to be really delicate, and you're going to lift this piece from your mantle very carefully, and you'll okay. see why it's called a pen. It looks like a pen. We are going to pop our ink sack, and we are going to write with this pen. Look at that pen. Really cool, but that's the end of the pen that you're going to write with. Why is there some pen? Don't sharp it is. Well, because we broke it. No.